my name is Maria, and welcome back to Vixen's Victorious. Uh, since Cheryl McFarland is uh, going to have her own statue, I thought we'd do a little special on her. This is a bunny. Uh, yeah. Sorry for the bad background. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd do a little special. I thought we'd just, you know, do some, like, background info on her and stuff like that. Uh, because, uh, from what I've read, she is quite an accomplished netballer so i just thought she deserves some recognition so we're gonna make this video all about her today um so let's get into it so sharal mcmahon she was born on the 12th of august 1977 uh is an australian former netballer who played and captained the australian netball team uh she played in a goal attack and goal shooter positions um so much skill to be goal attack and goal shooter i mean there's a lot of skills everywhere but like you need to be always i guess as close to perfect as possible to be a shooter and not only have to work around the defenders all the time um there's no easy position in that ball but like shooter hard <laughs> um so born in bama when what is it called? Bam, bam, whim. I'm sorry. Someone needs to correct me on this. Uh, McMahon captained the Melbourne Vixens in the NZ Championships and played 11 seasons for Melbourne, v for Melbourne Phoenix as a captain for four seasons uh, in the previous Commonwealth Bank Trophy. She led the Vixens to the NZ Championship title in 2009, uh, defeating the Adelaide Thunderbirds in the grand final. Uh, McMahon captained the Vixens from its inaugural season in 2008 until 2011. Uh, so I was 12. <laughs> Sharing the captaincy with Bianca Chartfield from 2009. McMahon was best and fairest for the Vixens in 2009 and 2010, having previously been voted best and fairest for Melbourne, uh, for Melbourne Phoenix four times between 2000 and 2007. Uh, so she is obviously such a highly skilled player, uh, as as you can tell. Um, no messing around with her. She's like all business. It's like yes, yes, I got this. Let's do it. Um, on the thirty first of March two thousand eleven, McMahon rafted her killy tendons. Ooh. In an ANZ Championship game against Queensland Firebirds. So I've done my uh, ACL, but it's the Achilles and ACL are sort of like, it's the same recovery time, and it's sort of like um, you kind of go through the same process. Obviously, different exercises because you have to strengthen your Achilles different to how you would strengthen your knee, but it is it's brutal, and it's I've especially in the first few months, it's so easy to get into a negative headspace. Uh, and it's like, even I struggled, uh, because it's like, I couldn't play squash, I couldn't, you know, I, I kind of struggled for the first few months of recovering from that ACL, so, uh, that, that really sucks for her. Um, following surgery, she withdrew from the 2011 Netball World Championship in Singapore and was, and was considering her playing future. Australian coach Noel Plummer, uh, described... McMahon is probably the most athletic player of natural talent to have played the game. There's a huge... I mean, you can kind of tell by reading all of this, can't you? That that's probably was the case. McMahon confirmed during the off-season that she would be returning to Melbourne Vixens 2012, ANZ. But after only one preseason, McMahon announced that she was pregnant and withdrew from the Vixens for the 2012 season. With her son Xavier, was born on 3rd of August, uh... Uh, 2012 and her daughter Ruby was born on the 27th of November 2015 uh, you have to make time to be a mum that is important uh, just any parent you have to have you just always have to make time to just be a proper parent you know I feel like you need time to create that bond with your child um, because it's not fair on the child if you just you know birth them and then just go back to life uh, that's not okay 
I feel like if you're going to have a child, <laughs> you need to take time to be a mom, which is what I'm assuming Charles did and grew on her. Um, on the 25th of October 2012, it was announced that McMahon will turn to Vixens for the uh, 2013 season. McMahon officially retired at the end of, two th of the 2013 season at the end of each season. The Mama Vixens are uh, most valuable player is awarded the Sherelle McMahon Medal. In 2007, McMahon joined the match review panel of the AFL Women's Football League in its new regal year. Nice. So obviously, so now she's a cat. She's a, a head coach for, I think, women's cricket in Victoria. And it's just, you can just tell she has a passion for just women's sport. Um which I really care about personally as well as also to a woman in sport. I really like it when, you know, women are just, you know, women empowering women. Um, I feel like it's really important, especially in, uh, in sport today, because like I mentioned in last week's video, when I grew up, I didn't really know that women's cricket existed. Uh, women's AFL didn't exist. And they were like my... I love those sports now, um, but especially as a child, it was more the men's, uh, and so I, like, obviously we have Stuart Broad and Wilmington who are my sporting idols as well as Shara Prova, but, like, it, it's really nice to be able to see more female representation so these little girls can compare themselves to other, not compare themselves, but, like, be inspired by other females. Because I'd always, I don't know, I guess because I was young, I wanted to be as good as the men because that's all I could see. And it's, it's unrealistic. Uh, like, I can do the best I can, but I'm never, it's, it's um, biologically impossible. Uh, which, what a hard pill to swallow as a child growing up, realizing that there was, like, biologically a difference between males and females. Uh, and kind of disheartening, but I still want to, still want to challenge them at least, you know? Yeah. So she's definitely, definitely passionate about women's sports. Uh, McMahon's international career, uh, began when she was selected for the Australian Under-21 team in 1996, following her performance in the Victorian Under-21 team. In, in 1997, she made her debut for the Australian national netball team against the Jamaica. I guess it says against the Jamaica. I think it's just meant to be against Jamaica in Jamaica. She was the youngest member of the Australian team, which won the netball gold medal at the 1998 Commonwealth Games in Kuala Lupa, which was actually netball's first time in the Commonwealth Games, as well as squash, so facts. In September 2009, McMahon made her 100th appearance, which is spectacular, uh, uh, for the national side, uh, cap, capting, cap, I can't even speak, capting, being captain of the, cap, what, I can't, I know the word, I just can't speak today, capting, captaining, yes, captaining Australia to a, 36-83 win against New Zealand. That must have been a tight match, fam. That must have been a very close match. Uh, McMahon captained Australia. See, that makes more sense. Captained the Australian team at the 2010 Commonwealth Games in Delhi and was selected as the flag bearer for the opening ceremony, which apparently is the first time uh, that a woman from a team sports has been a flag bearer, which is really exciting. I'm not sure if it's just like if you're sh the first woman in a, in a team sport or just the first team sport athlete to do the flag bearing. Either way, always exciting. In 2010, McMahon won Australian Favourite Diamond Award. I mean, how could she not, right? Uh, later in 2011, uh, yeah, McMahon considered her 2012 future in the Australian Diamonds. Uh, so this is a quote. Uh, I had some thoughts of how it would be nice to finish my career, and it definitely didn't involve being carried off the court with a snapped Achilles. Yeah, no, no one wants that to be the last time. 
Uh, there's a lot that has to be done before I make it back into the team, and I've won a world champion. They've won a world championship without me, so I'm clearly not expecting to walk straight back in. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like especially, yeah. That's. Yeah, so I don't know what to say because like, I I identify with that because I done my ACL and it's like that's not you don't want that to be sort of like your last game you kind of want to end on your own terms and not because of an injury um I feel like I can speak for just every athlete to be honest when when I say this it's, you just want to end because you want to end it not because of like an injury um so you know and of course Australia has always been strong um it's I guess it's a bit like western bulldogs where it's like we have so many good players but the thing is our good players aren't getting games because we have a team full of great and elite players you know so it's, it's really hard for people to get games and so i don't know when you know it's not gonna be an easy road back i mean nothing's ever easy but like when you know what's uh you kind of you have to work really hard and you kind of feel like the rug's taken from under you and it's a little bit disheartening and so you sort of feel like you have to work harder um but yeah yeah i definitely know what she means by that uh and last bit of information in october 2016 she was inducted in the australian member of the sport australia hall of fame uh and she has just has so many achievements um, what can I say? She she's just fabulous, obviously. Um, I wish, um, I was actually able to see her play, but I don't think I was a big fan of netball until maybe when I was fourteen. Um. So. I watched some games, but I, I feel like, like, I got into Nepal when I was 14, but I feel like I really started going hard for Nepal, I feel like at the age of 20, like two years ago, uh, like, I've always loved Nepal, but I, well, I've always enjoyed Nepal, but, like, I feel like I have more of a passion for it now than I did back then, and I really wished I had, I was able to, I was able to see her play, because I feel like, I feel like she would have just been a great player to watch. I think there's nothing else to say about that. Uh, so we will go through her um, medal record. So we're representing Australia in the World Netball World Championships. Uh, won gold in the 1999 Christchurch, the Owlsborn. Great. Uh, silver in 2003 in Kensington. Um, gold in 2007 in Auckland. Iron Commonwealth Games, gold in 1998, uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, gold in 2002, Manchester, silver in 2006, Melbourne, kind of wanted to maybe just win the home one, but apparently not, and silver in 2010, Delhi. Um, yeah, very accomplished player for sure. Um... Yeah, I feel like you can tell, you can also just tell that she has just a passion for women's sport. And I really love that because I'm the same. Um, I feel like as a woman in sport, I, I want to help other women in sport. Because I feel like we just don't get enough attention. And even as someone like Shira McMahon herself... Uh, like, she gets attention and is well known in the netball community, but, like, she's not, like, as well known as someone like LeBron James. Everyone knows LeBron James. I don't even watch basketball. So, it's just, like, when someone with such big accomplishments like her, she, she should be just more recognisable. And I feel like, you know, we need to keep pushing for better things for women's sports. Uh, cause just one, I just, you know, I feel like the girls should be as recognizable as men's sports. I think 
that's the goal here I will, I, for me uh, personally because there's so many great women in sports that accomplish so many things but don't get noticed as much as the male counterparts and that kind of makes me sad um but yeah that would be it for this week uh, if you like it please give it a thumbs up comment down below some of your thoughts on show like man and just women's sports in general because women in sports is a very important thing um but yeah please give the bell hit the bell notification so you know when we upload next uh when i say we normally do this with mom but she's working um and uh, yeah, please subscribe and I will see you uh, next week. Bye.